This is Dakota. I mean, this is uh, Cochise. He looks a lot like Dakota. He's the only other male puppy. So we have two males, Dakota, Cochise, and the rest are female. What does it mean when uh, wolves are prehistoric animals? Mm -hmm. They survived the ice age. It's a lot of work. They helped us, and we taught us how to hunt more efficiently because right. they work as a pack unit. Mm -hmm. They live as a community. Yeah. And what's special about them is the hierarchy of their pack is yeah. similar to human beings. In order to keep order and to make yeah. sure that everyone There's always survives. Always an alpha. So, and that's part of our communities as well. Sure. We we cannot survive without the community and mm -hmm. without each other. Mm -hmm. And so initially and what we'd like them like to bring back is this care for each other to make sure that each individual is as important yeah. to the whole yeah. as the whole is to the individual. Right. And the um, wolf actually epitomizes that in the yeah. wild. Yeah. Um, they live more like we do than any other species, including the primates. Wow, that's great. <laughs> He's wonderful, this guy. Aren't you? Aren't you a big handsome boy? Yes. <laughs> I'm just a little boy, so I know what they're doing. I was going to yeah. ask you how you yeah. got started. I grew up with it. I've had wolves my whole life. Oh, wow. I've wandered in the mountains since I was a little boy. I grew up not having the ability to read or write, so I was had a difficult time in school. And because of that, I always retreated to the mountains, and I was always rescuing animals. You see? I didn't even start learning how to read and spell until I was 32, and that was that was 20 years ago. Needless to say, they I don't have all those fancy diplomas that everybody gets from schools. <laughs> they asked me to leave. <laughs> Who cares? Look where you are now. So you're living your dream. Yeah, and being able to bring it back to the community is what I've yeah. always wanted to do. That's great. And That's great. so we've been able to. Yeah. Only the alpha pair will mate. Mm. Now, if there's enough territory and enough food, then there are more mating pairs, but it's very rare. Right. Um, even in our... I didn't know how they did that. In the wild, they kind of just... I read that they fight to um, keep their dominancy. Yeah. And only one will... Um, one mating pair. But each... One of these, this um, this girl right here, yep. with the mask on her face yep, and the spots, she came into heat at 11 months and became the alpha of the puppy pack. Oh, right. There's four other females that did not have a heat and still have not had a heat because she became so biologically they have some connection to yeah. who mates and who doesn't that's and right they biologically sort of switch it on and switch they it off. switched it off yeah that's so amazing. um that's fascinating to me that they could sure. shut down an entire biological function yeah so they're now and the the funny thing about it is there's been certain people that have visited that their energies weren't good we're not good. Uh -oh. and we can tell because the animals move away from them. Interesting. They're not. They don't go and attack them. They don't do anything. They just move away from them. You say because they're sick or they're depressed. Or no, you can tell when people. You've got a lot of people that are that are their energy's just not right. Right. You say um, they're not Allie, at peace. Allie can actually detect children that are on medication. Oh wow! Really? Yeah. Oh, really? I trained her for that. Interesting. Oh. Which allows us. What you're seeing right there is father daughter, and that's a protocol that they do. We let them have all their natural instincts, and she's submitting to father. Mm -hmm. When they're babies, that's how they're fed. They take the puppy, stick their mouths in the parent's mouth to be fed. So they have all their natural instincts. What we did is we just took away from them that instinct that they would have to do in the wild and we cared for them and then socialized them with humans. So from day one, this now you've all become part of their pack. You see, so no matter when you come back, they'll remember you. 
Really? That's what they do. That's why they said they're going to smell you front and rear. They're going to get your scents because that's what they do out in the wild. And the, the funny thing about it is there's been visual. Wolves are prehistoric. They were in the Ice Age. They survived the Ice Age after the dire wolf went extinct when the dinosaurs went extinct. Uh, the timber wolf uh, survived, and the reason it did is because of its hearing, its sight, and its scent. It's all 300 times stronger than humans. Oh, wow. And they could find and hear and then retrieve small rodents from under the snowpack. And then they evolved into the caveman era where they started to help man. That's where wolves and man came in alliance together. And they taught the caveman. So what I was saying was... <clears throat> The ranchers are, what they're doing is, is they're taking dogs and breeding them in their barns and not feeding them. Right. And allowing those dogs to become feral. Right. Wild. And they're the ones out there eating the, the calves. Yep. Because see, the wolves aren't going to come in to eat a calf or no. to harass a cow. No. They're not even going to get anywhere near it. They're on the land, though, and it's moving the cattle, and the cattle aren't grazing, and they're not feeding. Right. So what the government has done is, is that they match it pound for pound. If they lose an animal, a cow, to a wild kill, and they can prove it, whether it be a mountain lion, a bobcat, or a wolf, right? they get reimbursed at 100%. They don't tell you that. So it's actually feral dogs are doing yeah. the killing, no yeah. wolves. Yeah. yeah. The and are raising the feral dogs to do this? Yeah, because if the wolves aren't on the land, then they get more land. Well, domestic animals will See, go after the coyotes. No. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's that. He's doing hot laps. He'll chase him around. So, but Chinoa is probably between Chinoa and Ojin. The other short hair, all white one out there. Um, they're the uh, they're the hunters. Mm -hmm. They're the hunters of the pack, and they'll that, hunt. So a pack would normally divide into different roles. Is they all have a different role, yes. Right. Yeah. Uh, how many wolves are there in the world? like, I'm not supposed to get on this table. Come on, move up. I took the back. Come on, move up. I'm taking the back. He's like, I really want the back. Uh, she'll climb up on the table. Well, here we go. Allie, go ahead. Hi. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Wow, she is a spitting image of Oh, when he kids. Oh, Terry and Marilyn have been here from the start. Beautiful. Wow. Yeah. 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 Hey, you gonna come and say hello? Hey. Hey. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It was a full facial. Mm -hmm. Takoda. Takoda. And you beautiful, hey? Dakota. Hey, More kisses? More kisses? Yeah.